PTA PTA It's February 14, 2020 and we are on our way for our very first Invisalign appointment. For Brian, it's the last kind of thing he has to do on his mouth journey. And for me, it's just something I want to do. My top isn't that bad. I kind of have a snaggle tooth here, but really my bottom is what's crooked. So that's what I'm I'm going to work on. Just be aware for cute overload in five, four, three, two, one. He did the impressions. Yeah, but we haven't, we did what we did on you, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. we started, I wanted to start together. together. You want to start today? I wanted to start together. Yeah, okay. For... So, this is your case. That Ooh, counts. it's pretty. Mm -hmm. So, these are instructions. This is your retainer, and these are the cleaning crystals that you can clean your uh, Invisalign trays with. Oh, cool. So, you soak them in there. Okay. You want to see it? Oh, my gosh. These Whoa. are the number of the trays it's going to take you to get white. Uh, all straight. Oh, cool. Okay. I can imagine mine. <laughs> well, yours came in multiple boxes. <laughs> so smart. Dogs are so smart. Yeah. Weird. Haha! <laughs> so these are just to hook on the thingy. Yeah, that's it. It's so like a vampire. Yeah. They're huge, but they are not. Yeah, wild. I didn't even know that you had to do that. Yeah, there's one here too. This one is small. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And there's one here too. Yeah, I felt that yeah. one. So you actually feel it more when you don't have the trays on. Yeah. Versus when when you have the tray tray on. When you have the it tray forces on, you to put the tray exactly. on so you don't feel it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And at the beginning is annoying. Then after that it's fine. So you align it with your two front teeth. Uh huh. Okay. And you just push it in. As you can see, this is a lot thicker than the oh, other one. Oh yeah. And it goes in and. And you, you see, you have two indentation right here, uh -huh. and you want to make make sure this is seated all the way. So the edge of the tray uh -huh. should be completely flushed with the edge of your teeth, okay. and there shouldn't be any movement. Okay. That's it. Congratulations, your first tray. One step closer to straight teeth. Yes. Ooh, it does feel kind of. It ooh. does feel thick. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad though. No, not too bad. You get used to at the beginning, you may lisp a little bit on it, but the yeah. lisp will go away. These are in the lieu of the metal bracket and right. all the wire, so right. they have to have thickness to it. Okay. So we're going to do the lower, on the lower, especially on this side, yeah. because your arch is collapsed and we are expanding it, you have a lot more attachment here. So okay. I'm, I'm going to do this side attachment first, and I'm going to do the other side attachment. Okay. Okay. And then on one of the teeth, and this one, open, this one, you actually have two attachments on it. Okay. Oh. Lower is tight. Not too bad, though. I mean, it's, it's only going to be tight for a couple of days, and yeah. it's going to be just fine. It's going to be sore. If it's really sore, take an Advil or anything. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, better than braces. I mean, I can feel it for sure. Okay, hi. So this is... Techni it's like day two, but technically it's the first full day that Brian and I are both using our Invisalign. When I woke up this morning, my mouth was sore, my gums were sore, certain teeth were sore. The one thing, I, I, I know people that have had Invisalign, but no one has ever once told me about kind of like the nubs. I'm going to call them nubs. You can kind of see it out here like kind of locks, latches, latches, notches, notches. And you can see, kind of look like a, a vampire a little bit. But these are notches. I have more on my bottom teeth because my bottom teeth, as you can see, 
are more crooked. So I have more notches on my bottom teeth and that coincides with my Invisaligns. So every notch on my teeth has a corresponding notch on, you can kind of see. So far the most uncomfortable part of this whole experience on day two are these notches. I keep on kind of biting my lip when I eat because the notches are, are kind of sharp. You know, I keep on getting, getting kind of like my inner lip stuck in between one of the notches. And they, this one so far, this notch, and then this notch down here, or this tooth down here and this notch, those are the things that hurt the most so far. I don't mind the tightness of the Invisalign because it's obviously something's in your mouth, so you're going to feel it. But the notches are the most uncomfortable part for me. So it actually kind of encourages you to keep your Invisalign in. Oh, usually 20 to 22 hours per day. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, remove it when you eat anything and uh, wash your mouth and your aligners before you place your aligners back into your mouth is essentially what you need to do. It is very weird. It feels weird. Brian hates it, so I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was gonna take me two years in my um, Invisalign, but Doc said seven months. So that's, I mean, by the end of 2020, I'll have straight teeth, which is really cool. And then after that, I have a little chip that Luke did actually. I was drinking water uh, from an aluminum bottle and he like jumped up and hit hit this and then that hit my tooth. So we're gonna go ahead and patch that up. And then I have these um, like little white marks. I forget what she calls them. And then she's going to just uh, get rid of them, which I don't really know what the process is. I also have to bite down, use this to bite down on the retainer for the first first couple days every time I get a new Invisalign system and that's just to help things lock it into place. And then um, she did mention that I have to go ahead, oh God, um, and buy um, like denture cleaners to just like give these a good clean when I, when I need to. And um, yeah, I mean, overall, these are like very light, obviously, even though they're very light and thin, having them in your mouth is very uncomfortable, but it is better than braces and at least you can like take it out and I don't know. For the first two weeks, this is what my teeth look like. Okay. Teeth log, day three. My teeth fucking hurt. So yesterday, this tooth and this tooth hurt. But today, all of this. This is fine, this starts to hurt. Oh God, and this, ah. Uh, Oh yeah, this whole row hurts so badly. And the way you take these out is you have to dig all the way in the back. Oh God, it hurts. Okay. Oh God. <sighs> Just went to the dentist again because Brian needed to get his little notches on. And um, I told her that my teeth were like really sore. And she said that it's actually gonna be pretty sore for just the first tray. I don't actually remember if she said the first tray or the first week. But basically what this one does, and it might sound scary, is whoop, it will, um, this one's kind of getting your teeth to loosen up a little bit. So you're gonna feel, definitely feel discomfort and pressure. But once the teeth I, I want to say ligaments, but I don't think that's what they are, but kind of the nerves in your teeth, once they loosen up and make it malleable for stuff to start transforming, then um, your teeth won't feel as tight. We had pho today and we took it out for lunch because you're supposed to again. And it was actually pretty hard to eat. Our teeth were just really sensitive, so we didn't end up eating that much. It definitely does seem to be getting less uncomfortable and painful as the days go on. So hopefully tomorrow it will feel okay. Here's my new tray, three of 14. Turn it up. Oh God. Ooh, that does not feel good at all. Okay. 
Oh. Ooh, the lower ones are tight. The lower ones are so tight. My teeth don't really hurt anymore. It's just kind of the overall tightness of the tray. So that's good, but it is still a little bit sensitive for me to chew. So what I've been doing is I've been taking out my tray about 30 minutes before I'm supposed to eat to just get my teeth used to not having it in my mouth and I've been chewing very very slowly these days. It's been a while that I've done an Invisalign checkup and frankly it's because it's all the same at the end of the day. However, I did want to share with you I am on my ninth packet out of 14 so we are already past the halfway mark. Just left dentist and I have 10 more trays left because the top is moving well, but the bottom isn't moving as well. So they had to retake some impressions and then those will come in later. So until then, I'm, I'm wearing these. That's the update. I have nine more trays left and this one is cool because it has these little, can you see? It has these kind of nubs on the back of the teeth versus on the front. You can see there's stuff right there. And then what this is meant to do is help these teeth right here lower, its, lower itself down, I believe. I don't know. Honestly, every time I'm sitting in that dentist chair, I get really sleepy. But um, yeah, so when I bite down, I actually bite down on the nubs on the back of this. So I'm actually really interested because I have a major problem with clenching my jaw on the back ends of my uh, teeth. And this is actually, the nubs on the back of the tray is actually preventing me from doing that. So I wonder if this is just going to like kind of fix a lot of my issues with my mouth because actually doing the Invisalign has helped my uh, Team J significantly. Um, just straightening out my bite is different, so I think that has a lot to do with, it, do with it. So I'm excited to see what these nubs will help me accomplish with uh, fixing my mouth issues and my neck issues. But I have nine more trays to go. That's two, four, six, eight. That's like five months from now, so by August, September, October, November, December. By like January, my teeth will be straight. So that would make it one year of this journey happening. So that's exciting. Where is it? Eek, where is it? My very last Invisalign tray. Here we are. I wish I had taken photos of my teeth before I started this process because I, I mean, I can feel there's like this one, I remember was very much forward and I know that these are um, more straight now, but I wish I had taken before and afters of my teeth because um, I don't re really remember besides just feeling it. I don't remember what my teeth used to look like, but I'm happy with it. Dr. Shea did give me some teeth whitening, but basically you just put it in your trays and then like little baby dots and then you just put it in your teeth and leave it, leave it in there for 20 minutes. I only do it maybe once a week because my teeth are sensitive. So if I could do it more than that, then it'll really hurt my teeth. But I don't think I need it too much anyway. So once these are done, or once this tray is done in two weeks, we get this taken out. I get uh, this filled out. And then this, these white spots on my front teeth, these are going to go too. So... Teeth will be um, different in a couple weeks. I mean, we're coming up to, you know, the end of the year, so I don't know what <coughs> her schedule is gonna be. So this may happen in the first of the year, but we're at the home stretch, everyone.
<gasps> Whoa! Wait, that chip thing is weird. What is? I mean, it's like it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it looks so good. And you don't have any of those white spots. I know. I don't anymore. have those white spots anymore. Hello everyone. So today is the closing of this Invisalign chapter. So you can see the white dots are gone. These teeth, if you remember, I think I had a snaggle tooth here. Um, my um, chip is filled without the use of veneers. And then here's my bottom teeth. I originally got Invisalign because I just wanted to kind of correct my bottom teeth and a little bit of my front teeth, but what actually happened as a result of kind of fixing my teeth is that my bite has realigned itself and my TMG, my TMJ is way, way, way better. Um, I don't really click anymore. And I've never really talked about my TMJ on this, on this channel, but it used to be such an issue to where my jaw would just kind of lock or I would click um, when I would open my mouth too wide or maybe it would just like kind of freeze in place and just get locked jaw. And now I have full range in my mouth. There's no clicking in my jaw. It's normally on this side, no clicking at all. And I actually noticed in one of the videos that in the very beginning that when I showed you my teeth, my mouth was kind of unaligned because that's just how naturally my bite was. But now it's just a more natural, um, even bite. So that was a result of the Invisalign so I no longer have to do physical therapy for my jaw and um, it's actually been really nice so that's something that I, I really 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 loved. The other thing that happened was I upgraded from a boring black uh, case to a bright pink cherry, uh, case for my retainers so I'm just supposed to wear these um, basically every night and yeah it's not a problem so here are my old um, upper teeth and you can see these are very much the Invisalign trays but here's the retainer so it's a lot less I guess teethy <laughs> um, I can still feel some tightness it's totally un not uncomfortable but it just fits really nicely um, to just make sure everything stays in place I'm still using this on my top teeth because we're having a, a hard time kind of doing my upper um, retainer because it's just a little too loose so I need to go back in again this is the third time and um, get it remolded so it's a better fit a little tighter fit it was actually really funny kind of watching everything because I don't even remember how painful it was in the very beginning um, but looking back at it yeah it was really really uncomfortable especially the first tray and then the following months after that but um, after doing it for a while it doesn't really bother you and of course once the major movement happens and the smaller movements happen towards the end of um, your Invisalign journey then obviously it hurts less so I wouldn't necessarily um, be scared off um, about the pain that you'll that you will feel when you first start it um, because again this is in replace of braces and metal and all that goes along with it so it has to be um, tight and uncomfortable in order for things to change I do have to say is that you have to be committed to wearing your Invisalign I was really good at it um, I wore it all the time I actually my friend Benji would actually eat in it and I just I don't know I don't really like I didn't I don't like that but he ate in his retainer so his teeth changed really quickly but Brian is actually pretty bad at <laughs> keeping his retainers in he's always losing his retainers tell me why every time I wash clothes there's a retainer that pops out of the dryer because he puts it in his pants and he forgets that it's there so I would say that if you are someone who is fairly irresponsible <laughs> 
Invisalign, or I meant Invisalign trays, but Invisalign is probably not the thing for you because it is 100% like your responsibility to make sure that you are being good about having your Invisalign in as long as possible, at least 20 hours a day. So again, I just kept it in as much as I could, took it out to eat and put it back in after I washed my, brushed my teeth and my Invisalign trays after eating. So um, that's very, you just have to be, you have to hold yourself accountable for that kind of stuff. If you don't, you're just gonna waste a lot of money, all right? Speaking of money, let's talk about how much I paid for all of this. I believe I paid $6,000 for Invisalign and for whitening and then for the filling of my tooth and then the icon cleaning uh, for my two front teeth, that was $977. So I spent about $7,000 total over the course of a year to fix my mouth. Um, remember, I pre-saved for it, so it wasn't something that, um, I couldn't afford, it wasn't something that it was a surprise for me, I was really, this was really something that I wanted to do, so I was able to save up the money to pay for it all in cash. That is definitely something that you need to consider because I've heard that um, some people's Invisalign was like four to five thousand, mine was six thousand. So I would, I mean, I didn't shop around. I just happened to like Dr. Shea and you know me and dogs. If I can have dogs surrounded by me while I'm like in the most uncomfortable, like I really hate the dentist. I hate it, hate going. So if I can have, you know, softy on my lap comforting me, then I'm gonna pay a little extra for that. Plus she's in Beverly Hills, so you know. You know how it is in LA. So um, not to say that your Invisalign is gonna cost as much as mine. Again, I've had people in my IG DMs tell me that theirs was like $5,000 or one girl had $4,000 Invisalign. Don't know where she got that. Um, so um, either save up your money beforehand or shop around and see if you can find the best deal. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this journey and it was informative. Uh, for you if you if this is something that you want to do I learned a lot I honestly like I said in the very beginning thought it was just gonna be as simple as having trays in and taking them out um, but there was just so much more going on that I didn't expect so I hope that this video prepares you fully if you want to start on your Invisalign journey so that's it I'm Isha Dang, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video, bye.